<laughs> one should never look through one's binoculars when one is standing in a tree because one is liable to fall out of the tree. Uh, we have n we are nowhere near that leopard anymore. We decided being on foot around there in that thicket with the baby on its own and no mother was no place for us to be on foot. A, because we will frighten the baby and B, because if Shadow was to come back in those sorts of thickets, really, uh, the only view we'd get would be a blur of teeth, claws and fur. So much better that we extracted. I'm very pleased that we found her and found where she was. The chances were always small that we would have a good sighting, uh, but they were always there because we thought maybe Shadow had had a kill and we were hoping maybe the tracks from there would lead to wherever the kill was. Anyway, turns out Shadow is probably out hunting somewhere in this vicinity. So we are now looking for sign of the mother. I am scanning the horizon from this rather spectacular tree and you might ask yourself how on earth is the angle at which you're looking at me pretty much at eye level? Is uh, Fergus perhaps floating in the sky? Is he wearing a jet pack or something like that? No, he is on a very, very large termite mound which is about the same height as this tree which I think is quite nice. This is a marula tree. It is a vast marula tree and I was unable to stop myself climbing it because it was easy to climb and its vantage is just fantastic. I can see all the way up to quarantine clearings there. I can see all the way to the big Balanites tree on Balanites Road, unsurprisingly. And then all the way down to the of the great Umruamati and across to Cheetah Cut Line, which is the far ridge that you can see off to the east over there. And I've got to tell you, I would happily spend the rest of my Easter Monday sitting right here. Ideally, of course, with a sort of smoky flavoured apple juice as the sun goes down. Unfortunately, that is not to be, for we must go and search for the leopard. There you can see the fine fellow that is Herbert. Herbert, hello. There we are. And I will now descend the tree and attempt not to kill myself on live internet show. Uh, I feel that if one is going to kill oneself on the television, one should do it for a TV show rather with a much larger audience. One doesn't want to kill oneself uh, just for the internet, right? I mean, you really want to do it pretty much for the maximum possible audience. So I'm not going to do it this time round if it's all the same to you. I'm now going to jump elegantly down onto my 40 year old ankles. Right, okay. So Jamie is now heading off in that direction. She's going to tell you about that now. We're going to continue onto the drainage line and then down off towards the east, keeping an eye in all the trees for dead impala and, well, ideally, leopards. <laughs> 